It is cold. Just driving up here, I had to go through this stupid shit. I don't, I, I don't know what the hell is even going on. It just says like road work or something. It took us like 30 minutes just to get to, uh, like to this light from like a few feet down the road, and you'll see the line. All the cars, they're all getting pissed off. Well, I don't know what the deal is. They're like controlling traffic, the police. They're controlling it like the light is broke or something. But I mean, I can see the light is working. So, uh, damn it, this is gonna be a bitch to get out because they weren't letting people go for some reason. I don't know. Stop. Wait for pilot car. Oh, damn it. I think. Oh. 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 Um. What? Where are you going? I need to actually go straight down there. Does that? Tell my highway. If you go that way, tell my highway. We'll take you straight into Castrand. Okay. What? Um. Does that go to the? Does that go to the, like, the where the school is? What school? The college. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you oh, can take this. You can take this all the way into Woodruff. Okay. Which is the next? There's a four-way stop. That's Randolph. The next one, you're gonna go through the S curve. So the next one, it's Woodruff. Make a left, and it'll take you straight into CAC. Okay. 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 So okay. Just wait until the green light comes. Okay. Okay. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. There's no one coming. Okay. I don't, I don't understand why the freaking road is blocked and you need a pilot car. I wish I was recording when we went through. I mean, I didn't think there wasn't going to be anything. There's nothing, there's nothing on the road. I don't know why we need a pilot car to get through. There was no flooding. Today it rained, or last, last night. That's why it's freaking cold out and it's foggy everywhere. So that was like the second thing I was assuming. Maybe it was really foggy like an hour ago. Oh, that's cool. It's like a, an old... I've never been this way. It's like some old sort of post office. Yeah, so I guess the direction that... Um, well, to go back home, I can't go back home. I guess that's the, the part that's blocked off. Or, I don't... No, that's not blocked off. But she, she was just saying I need a... I can wait for the pilot driver? Like... Well, for what? Why do we need pilot drivers? So that was like a waste of 30 minutes. Now I gotta go this way. Waste some more time. Well, I'm kind of concerned because I don't really know what the deal was. What is it? Ch chunks of road breaking off or something? I mean, I didn't see any damage, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to enrich in my pilot screws because when I'm idling and I don't have any throttle or not the, when I don't have the, the valves open for air oh actually when I rev it I feel power loss right now a little bit not much but it's also deeper and I think that that's accompanied by running too lean and it's in colder weather right now it's freaking cold I was just doing a little experiment when I was when we were stuck in the waiting traffic bullshit I just because it was it was idling really low it was about to stall and it actually did stall it just stalled back there um, but we're, when we were waiting I put the choke on a little bit and yeah, this should be the road that we turn on it's Woodruff 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 Randolph Randolph? I don't think it's Randolph actually Randolph I don't know. I don't think it is. I know there is another road. That might actually be the road. And it goes through a neighborhood before the school. I wish that be it. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the, well, we were stopped. 
and it was about to stall, I just gave, I slightly moved the choke up, and it was steady. It raised, it raised, but it was steady. So I'm thinking that I do need to raise the pilots. Probably just, uh, maybe another half turn. And I did notice because my fan keeps turning on, so it's running pretty hot. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal, just because it's, I mean, it's not insane. It's not hot out. So the engine might be hot, but it's, oh, uh, damn it, that was the, I think this, yeah, this is the way to Coolidge, I think. Oh, uh, you know what, I have my, I have my phone on me and I have the apps, or the, what is that, that map thing? I'm pretty sure this is the way to Coolidge, though. Um, I kind of don't want to stop, like, I want to get hit. There's not much road, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's the turn, yeah, I'm almost positive that's the turn off. Yeah, I just gotta go down that way, but I want to make sure I don't want to waste any more gas. At least I didn't stray too far. Instead of going this way, I gotta go towards those farmland areas. <sighs> yeah, see, I mean, you can see it dropping right now. Just randomly dropping. I think that means it's just kind of getting a little starved of gas. Bartlett. Randolph Lake Powell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to turn back there. I know where I am. Um, yeah. Let me just I'm gonna do a double double check. Just push home. Get directions. Get me the right way. Yeah, I know where I am. Start. Why the f uh. Oh yeah, I'm good. I don't know why it's showing me facing... It shows that I'm facing west. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where I am. I'm just gonna put this right here, just in case. Um, because the roads aren't sounding right. Uh, that was a cool dude. I'm really surprised that guy just... Like, usually, people don't really give a shit out here like i mean my last video with like, three people out of the whole morning to afternoon stopped to help me i can't see my freaking vice is all fogged up yeah and then the turn should be i gotta pass through this shit i guess i'm pretty sure wait actually no i don't <laughs> it, this stuff looks familiar but actually i've never been down this road let me try again there's no, it sucks as there's no freaking road. Like, I can't just pull over right here. I mean, I could I risk getting hit, but uh, this is irritating. Uh, freaking road. Okay, let's try this again. So where am I? Where does it want me to go? I think it's wanting me to go down the road that I was supposed, to, oh, Randolph, which is just down there. Randolph, I've never even been on Randolph, never heard of it. And then I take Signal Peak. I know where Signal Peak is. I don't know what the hell Randolph is. This is just a whole... Inconvenience. And I, I still don't know what the f the road is blocked off for. Like, why do you need a pilot driver? What the f can you not do without the pilot driver when driving on that road into like where it must be at the stoplight they had a cop down there and uh, uh it's freaking cold right here this farmland uh, the vegetation Kevin! i don't know why I, I was just like jesus is cold and then just that Kevin! it came to my mind oh my gosh it's so cold uh, so I've never taken this route ever. Supposedly this goes near the school. Uh, damn it. Oh. Uh, that's not us. Someone hit that, I guess. Jesus, it's cold. Oh, so I do a lot of researching in my spare time. And most, well, basically everything. But one of the things I learned, which is funny. I mean, I knew how to do it on a car. But I didn't know how to do it on the bike or if you needed to. Burping your radiator. I really wondered about it. Like on a bike, how do you do it? Because on a car, it's pretty easy. Uh, but I haven't done it on, on this bike. Well, I haven't done it on Janine's either. If I were to do that. Yeah, so I guess you just put a decent amount of radiator fluid in there. Cool it. And run it until the fan kicks on. Which is usually when the 
thermostat opens up and then the air bubbles come out but I haven't done that and now I'm thinking that's probably why my reservoir is full okay this road should be a signal peak I think oh it's so cold I thought that was the stop sign oh I think this is signal peak if not it's the next road this is a big inconvenience okay this is signal peak and signal peak okay there's no cars behind me i don't know this signal peak the school's down there i'm trying to figure out where the hell i'm supposed to go from here i could go straight but it's no pavement and i don't want to risk freaking crashing okay mccartney must be down there i know i know mccartney i think that's actually the road that the school's on should just be down this road. Well, I, should, I think it's at that light. I can hardly see. Like, it's kind of difficult to see because of the freaking fog. Not fog, but there's like, oh yeah, it is fog. My freaking visor, like the inside, it's all like fogged up. Well, now I can kind of see, it's kind of one way. It's just when I'm stationary, it kind of fogs up. You know, this should be the road, hopefully. There should be a stop sign right here, I think. What road is this? This is irritating. Is this McCartney? Because it's showing the road continues. Uh, must Maybe it does continue. I just haven't paved it. McCartney. Oh, I know exactly where we are. This goes over the freeway. I've, I've never even been over this way. <laughs> to me, this place doesn't even exist. Well, it didn't exist. Because I've never been over this way. Yeah, so I just, like, I mean, it's kind of silly that I just learned about how to burp a motorcycle radiator, but it's true. I'm pretty sure that's why my reservoir is, like, full to the top. It's actually leaking at this point. And that may even be why my thermostat was broke. It was broken. And that may be because the original owner didn't burp it either. And so it was just running hot, maybe, maybe constantly I don't know but it is running hot right now I don't think it's from the because it needs to burp I think it's because it's running a tad bit lean just because of the pilots pilot screws this road uh, the farthest I've been is probably right about yeah right here this is the farthest I've been down this road it's kind of funny I've never been down that road it's really no wonder I was lost I would typically go down there, but I don't want to deal with the freaking traffic. Because I don't know, I still don't understand what the f was wrong with the road that we needed a pilot driver, someone to pilot us. I thought that was really weird. I kind of miss going down this road. If you guys watch my my old ass moto vlogs, you'll recognize this road. This is a road I traveled on a lot. When I was at the college, everything looks the same. I mean, it's not like it was a, that long ago, like 2014. Oh, so I talked about it in the last video, but I noticed a lot of you guys want me to do gaming videos. I found that kind of odd. I mean, you come to my channel and it's like, you should do gaming videos. So I thought about it and I mean, I don't really game much. I mean, I don't have, I don't even have the, the, the new generation systems. What is it, fifth generation now? I don't know, I can't remember. I like classic gaming, and I also have classic systems, so... I've been thinking about it, and I purchased a... Just a standard definition capture card, and I've decided that I will... Go ahead and try, I'll, I'll try it out. Try out the gaming scene, and see how it works. I have a Wii, I have a PS2, that's it, and a 3DS. But with the Wii, I have just about every game, and just about any every GameCube game. So yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. I'll just, I guess I just pick out a game. I'll pick out a game that I haven't played, and maybe you guys can suggest a game just for those systems. I mean, I don't have a, I don't have any other systems with right now. I do have a Xbox, but um, that's, I mean, the original Xbox, but I don't currently have it at the house. So I guess like, after each game, maybe, or after the first game, I should say, maybe make a suggestion of the next game you want me to play. 
Alright, hopefully I'll make a list. And hopefully that turns out pretty well. I mean, I don't really know how it's going to turn out. But I have a lot of games that I haven't even played. I haven't even started a game. I've never played it ever. Yeah, but that just shows how, how much of a gamer I am. I don't really play games much. I enjoy them, but... I just don't really, I used to play them all the time, I used to be like a major gamer, but what kind of games do I like? I like, I love Sonic, Mario, Mario I'm a big fan of, the old school Mario is not the, I don't like the new shit, the 3D or whatever. I love the first Mario, Super Mario Brothers 2, the US version, I don't really care for it. It was funny, I was, I was, uh, I was researching about Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 2 for the NES, and I always wondered why is it different than the first one and all the other ones. It's really interesting, you guys. I mean, if, if you ever wondered that, look it up. There's a there's a guy that that made a video about it in great detail. It's actually like a documentary. It's pretty interesting. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I like the first Mario. I'm a beast at that. I mean, I could. I grew up with the NES, the NES system, that Sega. Not so much the Super Nintendo. Well, I just didn't have it. I got it later on, but I always wanted it. I always wanted it because I was a big Mario fan. Oh, it looks like they just opened up that that road. I remember that road being open. Yeah, that, that road wasn't open, I don't think. I think I, I rode through that one time. It used to be dirt. I rode through it. It was probably a year ago, and when I went through it, my camera died like halfway through. I'm gonna probably look that up, look that video up. Um, anyway, I get sidetracked easy. Yeah, anyway, so I mean, I was a big Mario fan. I love the third one. The third one was freaking awesome. That had to have been my favorite Mario game, and it's pretty difficult. Mario is pretty difficult, but I mean, I actually all the all the NES games are pretty freaking hard. But I grew up with those. Sega, really just the Sega and then NES. And then later on, the PlayStation 1, and then the Xbox, and so on and so on. I've never really played the, the PS3. I had a 360, actually. Well, I, I don't know if you guys know. I mean, if you watch my old videos, you'd know. But I, I'm kind of like a computer technician. And well, what the, what the video game systems are is basically a computer. So I can fix a lot of the problems when it, like when it comes to the, like especially the 360. I know that system. If, if, you, if you give me a broken 360, I can probably fix it as long as it doesn't have water damage. But I, I actually had like a little business thing going there where I'd buy like a bunch of broken 360s. This was before the Xbox One and I'd actually fix them. You know, most of them had the red ring, which is pretty easy to fix. Like the main problem is it just had bad solder balls. Well, it had bad solder joints. And you had to re reheat it, reseat it. I don't know what you call it, but it's pretty easy. It's just bad production, manufacturing. So I do that and just resell them, and they work. And if they didn't, I wouldn't know about it because I never got any messages back. So wow, look at all that fog. It's crazy. That's what I was assuming what was wrong with the road. And people freak out. Oh my gosh, it's fog. I can't drive. Or some shit. I don't know. I seriously do not know. But anyway, um, yeah, Mario. I love I love the Mario, the old ones. I wasn't really a big fan of the new ones. And I always wanted the Super Nintendo Mario. I mean, I always played it. We'd stay at hotels and then they'd have it, like, pay to play or whatever. It's freaking awesome. And they came out with Mario 64. It was alright. I mean, I enjoyed it a little bit, but it wasn't the same. I, I just love the 2D scrollers. 